Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Void. I'm Player One, and welcome to Part One of the FNAF Character Rankings. I could have done them all in one video, but I feel like that would have been too long. So we're going to just start with one, two, four. I think that's a good selection of, of characters right there. You got the, about that many. Don't don't look at the mother ones. We're not getting to them yet. They'll come later. Yes, if this is your first um, video, please like and subscribe if you would like to. And um, yeah, this is now the third ranking video. And if you don't know the format yet, we have goaded, great, good, all right, meh, and garbage. Now, seeing how the, these characters are kind of weird, I'm just gonna go on my gut feeling on how I'll rank them. Cause like, they do have character, but they're kind of like two characters in one, you know? You have the ghost child, and then you have the actual animatronic. So I'll just, I'll just see what I think about whatever. Okay, so, the bear himself, Fred Faz, whor whor whor. What do I put him in? Hmm. You know, I would say he is pretty basic, not, not much there. I would prefer Chuck E. Cheese to him, but you know, it's not really bad, neither. So I think he just goes in good. I think that's, you know, that's a, that's a good placement for him. Just the, the base standard for the rest. Now Bonnie, he has a little bit more. He plays the guitar, it's pretty cool. Um, and he's pretty damn scary. He really is, like, bleh. Um... But is he great? Compared to the others we got later on, I wouldn't say so. But I think he is better than Fred, so I'll put him right above Fred. Look, they're looking at each other. Will they kiss? Whoa. Alright, uh, Chica... Chica's alright. She's alright, I mean... Eh... Definitely the weakest out of the originals. She just looks weird. Not, not, not really much to, to say there. But Foxy on the other hand, he's great. That man, uh-huh, yep. You got the unique mechanic, you got the bomb-ass design. Seriously, Scott Cawthon, I don't know what he was on, but he, he got it when he made Foxy. Beautiful. Love it. Dum 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 dee dum dum dum. Alright, now then, Golden Fred. Very cool. Um, I think, hmm. Well, if this is Golden Fred, and, like, everything involving him, including the children, and what they do, I may have to give him goated. Let me just look here. Um, we have Withered Golden Fred. Who else is on this list? Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think this will count for, for everything regular Golden Freddy. Slash Fredbear, I guess. And yeah, I have to give him good. It is like probably one of the creepiest, you know, hidden Easter egg things. And who knew such a simple recolor would just be that good? Yeah, I think, uh, I think, yeah. Now, phone guy. Hello. Hello, hello. Poor man died for nothing. Like, he was just working on a job. He was just a regular guy. He's been there for years. And then he dies unceremoniously for no reason. I'm gonna give him great. 
and not better than Foxy. Rest in peace, good sir. Alright, so that's FNAF 1. I mean, it makes sense, not really that many characters in it. But now, moving on to FNAF 2. Toy Freddy. Toy Freddy. Huh. He's a gamer. That's true. He is, in fact, a gamer. But he sucks at it. He needs you to help him. So that does not boost him up any. Um. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. He is pretty good. Definitely not scary at all, but I would say I would say he's good. He definitely got most of his characterization in UCN. Before that, it was basically nothing. But you know, he's pretty funny. Um, hmm. I'll go above regular Fred. That that looks right to me. Yeah, Toy Bonnie is an annoying little shit. And I don't like him. Him, her? Do we even know? I think him. It don't matter. It really don't. Uh, meh. Honestly. The design is good, I guess, but... Just everything, everything involving him, just meh. I don't like the voice they gave him. It just, it, no. 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 No, meh. Toy Chica. Now at this point, we haven't played FNAF 2 yet on the channel. I will keep my thoughts about Toy Chica until then. If you know what I will say, I will wait until then. But for this video, I'll give Toy Chica a great. Uh, let's do let's do it above Phone Guy. Yeah, um, that's about all I want to say on this topic right now. Stay tuned for when we do FNAF 2. Then you'll you'll get the full brunt of it. Mangle is booted. Mangle is goaded, right there. The design is peak. That shit is so scary. Like, I could not imagine being a little child and going into here and seeing this mess on the floor and want to be like, oh yeah, I want to play with that. H what? What? No, man, look at it. Ew. And then it makes radio static and shit. And no. This thing is terrifying, and that's why it's goaded. Mm hmm. Do I need to explain? Do I need to explain why? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the hell up. I don't want to hear you no more. Go away. And your sister can go there too, since she's basically the same thing, but doesn't talk. I guess that'll put her in meh then. She's basically you, but she doesn't talk. So it's better. Die in a hole. Never come out of it. Okay, with that, we got that puppet. Puppet's goaded. Um, but where? Um, hmm. Da 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 da. Um. I think I like the puppet more than Mangle. I like the puppet more than Golden Fred, yeah. The puppet's really good. 
again, the design. You will probably hear this like 10 more times in the course of this video. The design is perfect. It is just the right amount of creepy. Just the right amount. And of course, with the lore, the puppet's pretty damn important. You know. Without the puppet, we would have no FNAF. That's... That's basically true, yeah. So... So yeah. That is where the puppet is going. Or the marionette. If you... Um... Prefer. Okay. Withered Fred. Withered Fred really is just regular Fred. Like... Yeah. Wither Fred is just regular Fred, but up by one point, because it's he's creepier. That's it. That's uh that's it. Wither Fred kinda boring compared to all the other Freds. Now then, Withered Bonnie is great. Withered Bonnie is great. Who would have thought just removing the face would bump up his design like tenfold um yeah yeah he's top of great the beady red eyes the the claw hand he's just basically like perfect i love him mm -hmm. all right uh that's withered chica Again, with her Chica is just basically regular Chica, but I guess she goes above. It's kind of funny how she T-poses. Also, why is there so many teeth? Regular Chica doesn't have that. Yeah, it definitely makes her creepy. All right, Withered Foxy. On the same principle, Withered Foxy is going yeah, I'd say he goes above regular Foxy. I especially like the jump scare. The jump scare has been memed to death, and I love it. What the hell is this track? So I, folks, I just put on a playlist that said FNAF OST that I think was like all the games. When the hell does this play? I don't know. Anyway, Withered Golden Fred. Um... Yeah, right above regular Fred. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like most of the Withereds are just the original, but slightly better, except for Bonnie, which is way better. Hmm. I guess that works, though. I guess that does... That does work. Right. Yeah, Withered Golden Fred, it's the same. It's literally, literally the same. Exact same thing. Alright, so now, Shadow Bonnie, or if you are some nerd who is like, actually, RWQX Razzle Frazzle. I'm not memorizing the whole damn string of reg of random ass letters. Shadow Bonnie. Hmm. Shadow Bonnie is great. I think Shadow Bonnie is pretty great. Um where do I put it though? Uh, da, 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 da. I'll put above phone guy. Because Shadow Bonnie is very interesting. I think we still haven't even figured out how exactly he's important. But he is, somehow. Thanks to FNAF 3. Um, the design is pretty good. 
It's just a blacked out version of Toy Bonnie, but with glowing white parts. And something to do with Remnant? Now, at this point, I have not delved into any of the books, bullshit, whatever the hell. I still don't even know what Remnant is, really. But, Remnant. I'm not so sure about this playlist anymore. Why they got a reversed song in the playlist. Sure, I guess. Okay. Um, Shadow Freddy's going in meh. This really is the definition of a recolor. Literally not a damn thing does it do. And it's not even like Shadow, it's purple. It's not even better than JJ. Like, not really. Okay, well that's one and two. I think that's pretty, pretty good for right now. Next up, we got still a whole bunch left. Now, please tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Spring Trap is the best, the best animatronic in the series, the entire series. Even when we do the rest of the games, I don't think Springtrap is moving from his spot. This man is creepy. He is important to the plot. He's intimidating. His design is impeccable. He's the main villain. He is the goat. I don't think you can, uh, you can argue with that. That's where he's going. I don't think he's moving. All right. Looks like we got repeats for some reason. Um, these guys are definitely not going high at all. We got Phantom Fred. Phantom Fred is bottom of all right. Really nothing. Phantom Chica's right below regular Chica, because that's just what she is. Phantom Foxy's pretty cool. Um, he'll go above Withered Foxy. I, I do like Phantom Foxy. Um, is that Phantom Mangle, I assume? Phantom Mangle is not even really a thing in the game it's just like kind of an annoyance that doesn't really hinder you okay hang on i'm gonna pause here i need to get this damn track out immediately and we're back thankfully i did that because the the glitch track was an extended version for 30 minutes no 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 uh-uh okay Alright, where were we? Um, Phantom Mangle, red. Phantom Mangle, um, hmm. Phantom Mangle really isn't anything, it's just a noise. You can't even really see it. So I guess, yeah, I'll put it in meh. It's slightly cooler than Shadow Fred, so I'll put it there. Phantom Balloon Boy. Slightly better than regular Blue Boy. But only slightly. Yuck. Um, we have Phantom Puppet. Definitely not as good as regular Puppet. I think it's going to go in good? Question is where? Actually, yeah, bottom of good. I don't like it as much as regular Freddy. The Phantoms... You know, he he really... Scott... Kind of downgraded when it came to the Phantoms. 
because like you got the regular ones they were good the toys the wizards and then the phantoms Ugh. and that's such a shame because springtrap is in the same game so i don't know where the creative i think he must have just put it all into him mm. we've got phone dude i think people call him phone dude the phone guy of fnaf 3 Um, he's kind of a moron, because how did he not realize that this was a living thing and not just an animatronic? Um, and we don't hear from him that often, because then we just get the tapes of Phone Guy. But from the little bit we get, he is pretty, he is pretty great. I'll put him right above Phone Guy. He's just like, <laughs> radical, yeah. All right. The man himself, behind the slaughter, will I am Afton. He's definitely not going where Springtrap is, because he is the weaker half of Springtrap. He is just a man who kills. For what purpose? We still don't know, and I don't think we ever will. He is just evil man. Um, hmm, where do I put him? This is really a tough one. I guess... Great? That sounds about right. And I'll put him... I'll put him above Toy Chica. Because, you know, it's still Springtrap. Just less. And I think by about eight is a, is a good... A good placement for him. Makes sense to me. Alright. We're in the final stretch. We're now on to Fnafall. Uh, the, the nightmares. And two... I asked him if he had any opinions on this, and he said to put the nightmares in S tier. And seeing as how I don't have S tier, I will sprinkle them between great and goaded. Because, you know, they are pretty, like, they're pretty damn good. Like, Nightmare Freddy is going high great. Uh, I'll put him above Phantom Foxy. Pretty good design, even though you barely see him. If you see the frettles more. Why aren't the frettles on here? Huh. Okay, well, I don't want to bother getting a whole picture of them for right now. Um, so just imagine the frettles are... Oh, nice. Just imagine the frettles are... They had the damn night beginning sound effect in the playlist? Okay. Imagine the Freddles are... Right below Bonnie. Put them right here above Toy Freddy. That's why I put the Freddles. Alright, Nightmare Bonnie. Nightmare Bonnie is slightly better than Fred. Nightmare Chica is slightly weaker than Fred. Nightmare Foxy is goaded. And you know... They skimped on him, because if you remember the teasers, he had the long, spindly tongue. That definitely added to him. Shame he doesn't have it in the game, but he is still pretty goaded. Like, his design is... Nuts. Um... But yeah, that's, that's where I'll, I'll put him bottom of goaded. So that's the regular nightmares. We've got plush trap. I've never liked plush trap. Not really. It ju he just seems kind of unnecessary. Tell me, tell me the lore significance of plush trap. Does he have any? I'm pretty sure he don't. Uh, he's going in meh. Below toy Bonnie. Yeah, he's just a little rascal. 
I could punt him to the moon. How is he scary? Oh, I like this song. Yeah, plush trap, n meh. Now then, Nightmare Fredbear. Also a f golden Fred, so he's going up here. He's, he's better than the regular Golden Freds. And by that logic, Nightmare itself going right above him. Because it's just Nightmare Fredbear, but even, like, scarier, edgier. Shadow the Hedgehog. You know? Makes sense. Alright, now to the Halloween update. I still don't know if this is canon or not. It's like in a weird limbo state at this moment. Especially you. But Nightmare Balloon Boy, it's still a Balloon Boy, but he's slightly better. He is slightly better, because now he's not annoying, he is actually, you know, kind of intimidating. The teeth? Actually, I'll, I'll put him in all right. Yeah, I'll put him in all right. Above... Phantom Chica. Yeah. That works for me. Mm hmm Nightmarion. Nightmarion. Kind of weird. Very spindly. Don't really understand it. Apparently it serves the same purpose as Nightmare. It's It's got some kind of lore something? Maybe? I don't know, this one's weird. Uh, it is pretty scary. Um, we'll put it in great. But where in great? I will put it... Above Nightmare Freddy. Yeah, that, seem, that seems right to me. Okay. Nightmare Mangle. Nightmare Mangle's kind of boring, honestly. I, this really is just Nightmare Foxy with a reskin. It, eh. I guess it's good. I'll put it... I'll put it above Toy... I'll put it above Toy Freddy. Oh, the classic. Yeah, I'll put it above Toy Freddy. The Jackos? Nah. Nah. Just, there's no point. There's no purpose. You had three... Th three completely new ones. And then you just decided, Nah, let's just have some reskins too. Like, no, man, no. You could have come up with something. Uh... At this point, it was one, two, three, and four. I don't know. You could have come up with something. You could have come up with original ones, for all I know. Wasn't this about the time the twisted ones? No. No, it wasn't. Maybe? Basically, my thought process here, one of them could have been the wolf, and the wolf could have been in one of the games. But I don't know if the timeline lines up there. Anyway, I don't like the Jackos. They're very boring. Not an ounce of like for them. And weirdly, our final character for this selection, the crying child, Evan, uh, what's some other, Brent, is that one? I don't know. CC. Lil Afton Jr. This poor, poor lad. Where do we put him? Hmm. Well, seeing as how he did go through FNAF 4, that did actually happen. That was in his head. He had some hallucinogenic gas, I believe. That was mentioned in one of the books. So he did actually do that. He was him. So that's kind of cool. He is still a little scaredy baby bitch, though. 
But then he also goes into Golden Freddy in addition to another child again. I don't know. Does anyone fucking know? I don't think so. I'm just going off of what I think makes sense. And it would make sense for Fredbear to kill a child and then said child to possess Fredbear. Right? Right? Okay. So he's going in great. Above, above Withered Bonnie. You know, you can't, you can't hate him. He's a protagonist. He's very important. Not very much personality, but he makes up for it in his actions. So, uh, let me just look down here, see if there's anyone that could qualify. No. Why is there two peanut heads? We'll get to him. I guess we could... Nah, we'll save him for later. Alright. So with that... That is Player 1's slash Player 2's FNAF character 1 to 4 tier list. Did I upset anyone? Do people agree with me? Let's see. Um, yeah. I've been Player 1. And we'll see you next time in something else. Bye-bye.